Okay, hired out a conference room, top level staff at Bulldog, my agency. Um, we went through, we took a step back basically from everything we're doing. And I just thought we need to actually work out where this agency is going, where is this company going? If you look at all the top brands out there, the huge companies, constantly they are evaluating their values, their brand, everything aligning their brand because a lot of the time we spend is focusing on our client's brand and helping them progress. And then we forget about our own brand. Where do we sit in the market? Who is our audience? How are we going to reverse engineer our audience? And where are we going to go on that path? Where's the five year, the 10 year, the 20 year plan? And like so many companies out there aren't doing this. Uh, we, did, we did it for Email Octopus, um, which was an incredible exercise where everyone sits around a table. I'm going to put the link below, but everyone sits around a table. You have post-it notes at certain times. It's all timed, so everything is done specifically. There's no rambling, and everyone makes a decision. There's a decision maker. That was myself. And you find a way of hacking away at where you're going to see the company. And then at the end of it, it's about four hours. We've just done the exercise, hired out a room. and. Um, yeah, you just find a way and you find new stuff and hear people's opinions. And yeah, like I think so many business get crippled by working inside their business. And it is so easy just to plod along every month and just grow. Like we're growing every month, but it's so easy just to plod along and forget about does all the employees know where we're trying to get to? Does everyone care about where we're trying to get to? How are our audience going to come to us? And what are we going to do for that audience? How are we going to help our clients? Um, where do we see ourselves alongside our competitors? That's another weird one. A lot of these guys, they are aware of our competitors, but not fully aware. And I'm a big believer in being close to your competitors, but not necessarily getting caught up in everything they do. So it was another interesting exercise. Like, I think this is such a good exercise, four hours out your day, a few hundred quid um, for a conference room, and like just time with your team, your top level team to just understand where they see the brand and where I see the brand and it was like just aligning everything, reverse engineering their thoughts and just creating this, um, this creating this brand of where we want to see it because yeah I just think businesses get crippled by their actions inside their business. It's much like working a nine to five, Monday to Friday, you just get caught up in that churn and you're never growing as a person and one thing I said to these guys was constantly hacking away at your daily life, at your work life to try and increase your workload, try and increase how you're doing things and take time out to look for tools that are going to help you long term, like on a micro level, taking four hours out to look for a tool that's going to help you long term doesn't make sense. Like if you take four hours and, and look for a tool that's not going to help you, or it's going to help you long term, that four hours you think, oh, I'm just going to spend actually doing some work, but that four hours is going to pay dividends in the ROI long term. It's going to save you hundreds of hours. And that's what we found that people are not necessarily take enough time out to find tools and speak to people to help help them and also they're doing a lot of work they're trying to take on a lot of work themselves um, and I find that just stuff like this is just going to completely break up their week and they're going to start thinking about their life and also their business like how they're how they're working inside my business or the business um, as a team how they're working in their department what their strengths and weaknesses are um, I think there's so many of them so many of the employees that just sort of coast along and, and aren't aware of their strengths and weaknesses and they're not telling they're not telling us like their strengths or their weaknesses they're just trying to do everything and it's not necessarily resonating in, in, in amazing results for them specifically but like this is natural that just happens like I'm just a great believer on dumbing down on all your strengths like just use all your strengths the infrastructure I built here is I've employed people that are better than me at certain areas of business and growth and management and service and sales and accounts and everything. Um, so that's what I've been focusing on, finding people that are better than me at every, every area. And I can just sit on the top, I can do days like this, and I can have time to actually think about where this brand is going as a business. And, and yeah, it might change in the next five months. We might, something might happen, or, but we're gonna adapt and we're gonna revisit this every, every couple of months. So the whole, the whole company know where we're going, but also we're, we're aware of that it's going to change, like things happen um, and employees change, employees move, we get new employees, more ideas and constantly that happens. So yeah, we're going to constantly reevaluate this and then we'll grow from there. But I think a message from this particular video is work on top of your business and not inside it. So 
stop getting, stop doing all the work and like an 80-20% rule, I would probably spend 80% thinking in how you're going to grow this business and, and where your business aligns with the audience and also your competitors, but don't get crippled up in your competitors. There's a link below where we're going to put this exact exercise, which I firmly recommend you do. If one person does this, then I will be super happy and just report back to me of how it worked. And uh, I think it's such a good exercise. Um, in other news, uh, I've probably said it already, but I'm going to go to Thailand in a couple of weeks. I'm going to do a vlog there. That'd be cool. Um, I still want to do more of these videos, but just having time is hard at the minute. Um, the business is growing, is growing. So yeah, I just need to take a step back and again, do more of these videos to help you guys. I did a video previously saying I'm back and there's loads of comments. So thanks for that. And, um, yeah, see you guys soon.